Hello again. Now in this video, um, I want to do a project that's been waiting now for, I would say, a good 12 months, since last Christmas easily. Um, because it's been to do with the bandsaw. Now you might remember if you've watched the videos, I used to have a much smaller bandsaw, about this big. Um, and for that bandsaw I made a circle cutting jig. It was just a flat board with a pin on it that didn't go all the way through and that was the whole point of it to be able to cut circles without drilling through and making a wheel out of it. You could still keep a solid disc. A little imprint, but that was all. Um, now I've got the new bandsaw, the big one, I no longer have to facilitate the circle cutting with the bandsaw. Something I need, something I always like to use it. So that is what I want to do. Um, now it's a much bigger table, so I'll be able to get a lot bigger jig in there. Um, the thickness of the jig will not matter because I've got a 300 mouth there. So I can wind it right up and have a pretty solid tabletop so it can span without bobbing. Um, the principle of it will be a two piece board. It will be the base board that will clamp onto it and have adjustables and everything to align it with the board, uh, with the top. Then there will be a secondary board that will be mainly attached fully to the first board, except it will have a slide device that will allow me to adjust the size of my um, circles. Um, any more details than that, there'll be no point me doing the video because you'd be able to go off and do it yourself. So, the first thing I've got to do is I've got a 30 mil blade in here at the moment because it's been a firewood project and that's all I've been doing for the last few days, making firewood. So I need to remove that and put in what I've just got, which is this um, finer blade. Is that one? Oh, the both have box of them. That's good. It's Excalibur blades. Um, and it's a very fine blade. Let me just say a quarter, which is... Um, do we have it in millimetres? No, we don't, but we know, 6 mil. Um, 10 points the inch, so it's very fine. Nice, decent blade. Um, that one's 10 points the inch, is that one any different? That's also 10 points the inch, both the So I presume they're just going to go blunt quicker. Right, the first thing I need to do is get this on. We don't want to be doing circle cutting jigs. Based on a 1 inch or 30 mil blade, could you ever get a circle? Not unless you're going half a mile. Um, so, get this blade on, and then we'll start working on the jig. Okay, and that's as ready now. I can start the jig. Right, what I've done at the start is I've put the two sheets that I need. Um, that is the top sheet, and this is the base sheet. You'll understand why later. Um, and what I've done is I've got 800 that way by 630 this way. Um, 630 is going to be that way, and the 800 this way. Um, that way I'll get enough from there to be able to do a good. 300 circle, um, which is what I want to be. I want to be from 300 mil away, so in actual fact, 600. So a two foot wheel I'd be able to do in total. That's plenty enough. Then I cut another strip off this hard top surface stuff to go into the uh, mitre fence slot there. Um, what I do now is I will mount that to this as squarely as I possibly can, measuring from there to there. So I've got the distance out. Now you'll see that that then is 1200 from the edge um, and 1200 from the blade. So basically the blade is there and that is giving me 400 to the edge of the timber. So double that up, you've got 800. I don't need that much. Um, if I did, I can always make a bigger one. Right, so what we need to do now is attach this squarely to here and then with this running, 
put it in the slot and slide it in until it gets to the point where I want to stop. So let's get that done. Uh, we'll go 5.10 to the end. Um, yeah, 510 to the edge, bring it out a little bit, it won't matter. 510 to the edge, yeah, 510 to the edge, yeah. Now this is a four micro surface. So there's not much point in using glue. It won't work. Convention on glue, that is. Whenever working with this board, I like to use a clear silicon, just a thin bead. And some screws. Right, I've just marked the centre of this, 615, so I just want to get into that blend at the front of it. Right, now what I want to do is temporarily clamp the other one to this and do the same again. Now do remember when you're doing things like this, you're going to treat it like a prototype. Okay? never been done before. Things are going to go wrong, accept it, just get it done without wasting too much materials. Over and over again, so everything at the beginning, like I'm at now, is guesswork. You've got an idea in your head, you're working from that, if it don't work, you change a little bit, change a little bit, change a little bit, until eventually you come up with something that's doing the job that you want it to do in the first place. Then you've got a prototype. Then you can, if you want, make another one from that, Upgrading it a little bit, or it might be good enough to keep as it is. But don't worry about getting things wrong. Not at this stage. Right, next stage. Right, I want here exactly 310. Don't bother trying to mark that stuff if that's what you're using. You'll never do it. Use some tape. Just shove a bit of tape as accurately as you can. Which you get a good habit of it. Roughly line it up that way. That doesn't have to be exact, and put this as near as possible to the 310 point. Perfect. 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 Then we'll just attach these two together with a couple of crocodile clamps. Shouldn't need any more than that, then back to the band saw. Put this one to one side for now. Now we're working on this one. Now we've come 310, the blade is just over 280. So if we call it 25, I want to double that, making it 50. So we're going to go at 260 and 310. And I want to run from there to there with the table saw on a 45 angle. And on that side of the bed. Now what I want to do, on this side, 
and to run that edge again just to make it nicer. First. Right, so I'll put that one underneath that. That'll give me a grip and it'll keep me above where I want to be. So I'll give that a try. This piece, we pitch it with this piece, and then this piece, and it come level with that. Right, okay, now I've glued all them pieces on to this board and squared it out as best I can. Now, the best thing is to leave it overnight in situ. Very <coughs> secure. Then I can start trimming the size down and doing the other bits that need to be done. I won't dispose any more than that for now. Ideas are still ideas. Right. So all that is coming out now. These will be as level as you can get them. And one good thing with silicon is that I'd be what you can do is keep tapping until it all comes nice and level, which it will. Remember, this bit here isn't connected anymore, so this is a bit needs to get level, which is it. Everything nice and close. So, okay, no silicon got into that bit. Nope. Good. Okay, right, I shall now leave that overnight to cure. Then I can bring it off, run it through the saw table to get it all squared up, and finish off the principle of this slide rail, which is something else I'll show you tomorrow. Okay, so that's it for this video. Let's uh, go get some rest and come back tomorrow and finish it off. All right, bye for now.